Hurry the horse barbecue. Hey, welcome to Hurry the Horse Barbecue. Today, we're going to be cooking up another pork butt. It's early. It's about 4.30 in the morning. So, let's get this started. So, first thing we're going to do is get this pork shoulder out of the packaging. I go here, keep one hand clean, one hand clean, one hand dirty. Okay. So today we've got a Creekstone Farms bone-in pork shoulder. Now, the quality of meat may not make a huge difference here, but Creekstone Farms was having a special um, two pork butts, four racks ribs for like 180 bucks. Couldn't really pass that up. We've got bone-in pork shoulder. Okay, bone side is here. It's a good internal thermometer, good indicator for when this is done. Okay, there's really not much we have to do here except for really season it up. Okay, if there's a little bit of fat on here we want to trim up, we'll inspect it. Okay, but all we're really going to do is season this up with a little salt and pepper, 50 50 by volume, have it all set up. We've got this Q glue, which is pretty much a mustard base, a little pickle juice in there, things like that. Use that as a slather. We'll add some paprika into the salt and pepper mix. That's about it. We've got the fire going right now. So let's get this bad boy set up. So what I'm just doing by looking at this, I'm just inspecting it, see if there's anything I want to trim. You know, anything that like hangs off a little bit. If I wanted to trim something, I don't want any sharp edges. Those will burn up on the cooker. Fat cap on this is not bad. Some people score it, some people leave it, some people trim it off. I'm gonna choose to just leave it today. Now it's a huge chunk of meat, a lot of different muscles going around, a lot of different internal marbling, okay? Um, it's gonna take a long time. We're trying to get this on by about 5 a.m. Looking at about a 10 hour cook here, okay? So, what I'm gonna start by doing, so the coffee. Harry the horse barbecue mug. Harry the, Harry the, Harry the, Harry the horse barbecue mug. Okay. What I'm going to start by doing is I have 50 50 five volume salt and pepper mix here. This should be just about enough for the pork, but we're going to go pretty liberal with this. I'm going to just add a little bit of, I have a little Hungarian sweet and spicy paprika on hand. I'm going to add a little bit of this to the mix. It's going to add a nice red color. All the way around kind of add to the uh, mahogany look of the pork but we want throughout the cook. I don't want too much because it is a bit spicy. I'll add a little bit into here. I want to mix it around. From there I'm going to add some of this cube glue as a binder. Okay. Now some people use mustard, some people use hot sauce, oil, whatever the case is. Cube glue is another great product by Savory Spice. Um, they're not sponsoring anything. I just like their products. Okay, this has got some yellow mustard, some turmeric mustard seed. It's got vinegar, some other spices, paprika, dill seeds, all sorts of good stuff in there. Okay, so instead of just regular yellow mustard, I'm gonna use this as my binder. Now the reason for this is because we want to build a really nice bark. We're gonna kind of build this guy up with a lot of salt, a lot of pepper on the outside. Because at the end, when we shred this pork butt, we want all that bark to mix in. For me, with pulled pork, I have two objectives. They are building excellent bark on the outside, and I don't want to overcook it to the point where it's mushy. I like a good textured pulled pork, where it's still tender, but it's not this shredded, mushy nastiness at the end. Now we're gonna hit this with our 50-50 salt and pepper mix. I've got kosher salt, coarse black pepper, a little bit of sweet and spicy Hungarian paprika, and we're gonna go heavy with this. So the pork butt's all seasoned up, ready to go. Smoker's running about 265. Let's get this bad boy out. See you out there.
Now, one good tip when you're running your offset cooker is if you have one of these tell true thermometers, every time I kind of walk by it, I'm starting to get into the habit of just kind of giving it a knock. And I just saw the needle kind of jump downwards, okay? That's telling me that the temperature is trending in the downward direction, right? I'm losing some heat. So um, that's how I know I want to kind of either put another, uh, put another split on or kind of kick over a log. And I'll show you how I do that right now. That's a good little tip from Aaron Franklin's master class that I learned. So our temps are starting to drop. This log here, I can see it's kind of burnt kind of uh, all the way around, except for this side here. I'm just going to kind of kick it over. Okay. That should give me a little extra heat. You can see how the flames start to kick up. Okay. That'll give me a little extra heat. It'll last me a few more minutes while I get these other splits ready. Alright guys, so it's been about three hours with this pork butt on the smoker. So we're going to take a look at it, maybe spritz it down. Apple cider vinegar and water. We've got about 50-50 by volume. Put our little spray bottle over here. So let's take a look. Man, that's smoky. In a good way. The way I have this bottle set up is, as it sprays, it starts to kind of fan out a little bit. I don't want a big miss. It's just going to evaporate pretty much immediately. Okay, so I'm going to hit these edges. Close her up, let her go. Alright guys, so we closed Irma up. We're going to keep maintaining temps, about 255, 265, running our oak and cherry wood. Okay, we're going to keep checking back about every hour to continue to spritz, just maintaining a super clean fire, and we'll bring you back. We want to make sure that bark is nice and set and nothing burns. We'll take you back for that process, so we'll see you back in a little bit. Alright, so we're about eight and a half hours into this cook and our cameraman finally showed up. <laughs> so maybe we'll have some shots where my head isn't cut off and there's decent audio. But let's take a look at this pork butt. Eight and a half hours in. Alright. Out of time. Alright, so. See the fat is starting to give. Fat cap is nice and split. Nice and crunchy bark. Look at that fat just oozing out. Yeah, definitely time to wrap. The Ooh, see how that fat just gives right there? That's what we're looking for. Okay, nice and juicy. Bark's looking great. We're going to take this inside. We're going to wrap it up in foil this time. Okay, last time when we did a pork butt, we did it in butcher paper on the PK. We're going to try doing this one in foil. Okay, so... We're going to wrap it, bring it inside while we do that. So we're going to get into our pork butt now. It's been resting for about an hour and a half. So we're gonna unwrap this foil and get into it. Nice bark on there, fat split, nice and rendered. Classic test, you ready for this? Does the bone come out clean? Yep, it does. Mm -hmm. Nice smoke ring on there, nice fat render, nice bark. Chunk, but let's see how we did. Are you close enough? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hot. That is 12 hours worth of wait. It's coming, bro. It's gonna be hot. Damn. That was poor. 
All right guys, so this pork butt took about 12 hours on the smoker, okay? We were cooking some other things at the same time, which is why it just takes longer, okay? Threw it on at 5 a.m., took it about, off at about 5 p.m. Nice bark set on there, great fat render, great smoke ring. We're gonna start shredding this up. This is what's for dinner tonight. Great piece of meat, real easy cook, just a long cook, but I know you guys can do this at home. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you comment, subscribe, and keep tuning in for some more great barbecue cooks just like this. We're gonna tear into this. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Piece of paper.